How much on the jacket? 250, that one. It's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah, it would be too. It's like new. It's yeah. brand new. Never been worn. No. 250. Someone's buying it. No. Some, I don't know if needy would fit. Too tall. <laughs> Can you tell me why you're so tall? Why I'm so tall? Um, Look, I eat a lot of broccoli. I'm as tall as you now. Look, broccoli's the secret. <laughs> Always one of the best stalls. <laughs> How you going? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? I bought a, this I, week and next week, and then hopefully I'll stop doing the stalls for a while. Is that right? Yeah. What's the reasoning behind just the I'm two? I've changed my days at work, so okay. I need the sun there. Yeah, nice. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, also clean out there and everything half price? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no good ones in here? The comics. Yeah. Um, what are we looking at? I might have messed up and put a couple in, but I went through like 400 of them. You comp them all out? Yeah, list them all on eBay between them. Most of them were 10 bucks. Yeah. Um, a couple of them went up to like 50. Yeah. Um, but then my eBay store got taken down. Oh, did so it? Now I just can't be bothered listing another 400 comic. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah, right. So I've started a new eBay store now, but. Have you? I'm going to try and be a bit more selective with what I. How's, that, how's that going now that you've restarted? Oh, it's going like really good. Yeah, well, you got, got good stuff. Yeah, listed, yeah. I think. 150 items and sold 50. Wow. So, yeah, in the last like four weeks. That's a really good sell through yeah. rate off the jump. I'm happy to take a price off you and have a bit of a think about it throughout the morning and come back. Uh, I'd probably do 500 for the top. Five for the top? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, so, you're looking at like 200 comics in there. It's the same, maybe two bucks each. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah cool. All right. I'll have a bit of a think, my man. Thank you very much. Good morning, my friend. How are you doing? How much are we doing? For you? Yeah. 20, 20 smackers and it's yours. 20? Brand new. How about 15? No. Later? I've got a guy down there, he'll come back. Oh, is he? Did you say the same thing, 15? Sure. Did he say 15? I said to him 25, I swear. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. All right, well. For you, 20, because I know you like your shoes. I do love my shoes. And, and because they are the... Ultra Boosts. And the... Uh, Look at the fabrics they use for it. The knit. Yeah, the fabrics are the all the. Oh, the prime blue. Yeah, the prime, the woke love it, mate. Yeah, the ocean plastic. Yeah, mate. Yeah. You see, <laughs> so you sell it on that. They're a good shoe. I'm surprised. They, I'm surprised they didn't sell. Twenty bucks, mate. They excellent. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Hey. Hey, brother. How you doing? Good, you good? About it. I will. I'll be back. I reckon. And then where we were back over there is technically where the newbies turn up. And the newbies can be fun because it can be anything. But this stuff here you kind of see a little bit each week. We haven't made a purchase yet. Here we go. Oh, hello, sir. How are you doing? Good to see you, my man. How are you? You striking? No. No? Got a camera that's it. Oh, camera's a good win. How you doing? Hey. How much on these ones? Yeah, they're actually like uh, 300 at um, Anaconda, but um, I'm doing for 100. 100 so, bucks? Yeah, I've not, only worn them three times. Not bad. Yeah. They're good. They're yeah. good. No worries. For some reason, Bundaberg Rum is like a really heavy collector's market. Yeah. Even something like a coaster like that can do really well. This is a good show. They're all mixed, eh? What's that? I was just seeing if there was any, any more of that show. Oh, no, this is the only one of this one. Only one you got? Yeah, what, what edition is this? This is... The Osbournes. Yeah, the first season. Yeah, yeah. First season. Yeah, I was going The gonna... whole season, I think. Let's see if it's in there. That's disc a... two, disc one. That's a good start. There you go, three bucks. Three bucks. And you got Rockwiz as well. 
Yeah, I'm I always like, after the TV you, shows. You like, oh, you like TV shows? Yeah. yeah I've got the uh, Rock Quiz was on SBS, was it? Yeah, it and, was. Um, Spicks and Specs was on ABC, and I've got both. You got both. Oh, nice, you, mate. You, there's some underneath. Yeah, yeah, okay. There it is. Spicks and Specs. Yeah, cool. All right, mate, and they're all three dollars, eh? Three dollars. Yeah. Need the complete set. Oh, here he is. How are you, my man? You good? Yeah. Oh, you've got an Xbox. Yeah. Wow. With the cord? Any controls? Yeah, but it's like a brand. Like that. I don't know. Oh, you got, yeah, nice. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Stoked with that, eh? Like 220. Yeah, sick. You'll and like what's that? that? 60s. Vintage 60s Probably plus. Only 30 bucks. Is that? nothing out here. So. Who, who is it? Donald Duck. Though. Is it? Yes. Is that Donald? Is that Donald? <laughs> I thought it was Pocket Duck off, um, what's that show? Hey, hey, it's Saturday. No, definitely, definitely what I said. You wouldn't have been around though when Hey, hey, it's Saturday was on TV. I don't even know that is. Yeah, nice. Go back in there. Well played, my man. Um, that racing wheel from last week. Yeah. Um, put it up on Facebook the same night. Next afternoon, $300. 300 Yep. And so it was Facebook Marketplace, yeah, done Marketplace. quick. Did you get a bunch yeah. of inquiries? Uh, no, I need the one bloke. So yeah. obviously, I just found someone that was keen at the right time. So. Epic. Yeah. That's a great sale. Got to buy something. Hey, Manny. How you going? Hello, Bella. How you doing? Yeah, you good? good. What you got? Here. Haven't been here in a while. You got some shoes? Oh, yeah. Got some Jordans. Oh, you got some Jordans? New Balance. Yeah, nice. How much are you paying? Uh, five bucks. That's good. That's really good. Grab some DVDs. DVDs as well. Simpsons. Oh, you got, did you get um, Waltons? Huh? Did you get the Waltons DVD? No. No, ah, because I think that was from that lady, wasn't it? Yeah. That's um, awesome. Here's the DVDs, some old Pokemon stuff in there too. Oh, you did? That was that lady. There's a yeah. really good TV series there called The Waltons. That Thomas the Tank Engine one's good too. Does it go well? Yeah, it's like 45 bucks. 45? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they were. I was actually surprised when I comped that one up. They were eBay sellers themselves, those guys. Oh, are they? Yeah. Nice yeah. people. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was looking at one of their shows, but it was only a part season. It was region one. I'm oh, Matt. Andrew, mate. Nice to meet you. Dog and Sad. Really nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah region one doesn't sell as well. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so it's I was, international. I was tempted, but yeah. region one, part season set, I just thought I'd leave it. Yeah, you've she been leaving 25. the part season sets, haven't you? I've, I have been, yeah, a little bit, but that Walton's one does go for a lot. Yeah. Um, these part seasons, I'd, I'd probably pick up on a day like today where it's a little bit quieter. Yeah. But um, yeah, you just take a little bit longer to have it sell. Mm. It's still worth grabbing. You were saying, like, at the end of the day, you pick on the shoes a bit more. Yeah, shoes are really good. Yeah. I'll always grab the shoes. Like these shoes that you've got look pretty good. Yeah, um, the New Balances are pretty clean. New Balances are great. Yeah. And then obviously size, pretty important. Yeah, these ones are a bit smaller. But these are a seven a good, and a half. It's not too brand. bad. You get them like a five or whatever. It's, yeah. It's just so much longer to sell. Yeah, when you start getting the youth sizes. Absolutely. Yeah. No, good stuff. Yeah. You guys have done well. I'll see you around, we'll see you soon. Yep. See, see you ya. later. See ya. Well, there you go. I've been in there. How long do you reckon? It was an hour? About an hour. And we've come away with, sorry guys, we have come away with absolutely nothing. Um, but I do have a viewer of the channel that has let me know that she's got some stuff. She's got some video games and well, I won't exactly give it all away, but she's got a few other bits and pieces and we're gonna go over there now and pick it up. All right, we've got a couple of comic books here. We've got a big Bartman Bongo comics collection there. There's five there. And then we've got some Radioactive Man as well. There's about five of those. And then there was a heap. I think it was about 17 or 18 of these Simpsons comics. Um, and they're all, what, I, what I, I guess is good about these is they're 1995. I can't remember when the Simpsons first started, but these are definitely some older, some older comics. But I think this one here is probably the best one from what we're seeing. We've got Bart Simpson, Treehouse of Horror, 1995. It's definitely the best out of the whole lot here. You've got your X-Files comics as well. Haven't looked into the details around that just yet. Um, but this one here, definitely a standout. Um, I'll list him individually. 
And we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to purchase all of these. We're going to do it for $100. That's what we've agreed on from a purchase perspective. It's got all the games. Yeah. Some good games in there too. Yeah. I mean, sure we could the top. Yeah, <laughs> show. I mean, this five right here—that's the bang set right there. Yeah. Um. Oh, you got what's this one? Yeah. Oh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I haven't haven't heard of that one. Didn't really comp up it. Didn't comp up. Very much, but I might go into a lot. You'd probably know the way I do my games is the same as the comics, right? It's just going to be a bunch of video games. Yep, that's why I put the good ones at the top. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> and the Wii's don't go as well as the other consoles. Like if you found that Sega Mega Drive, Sega Mega Drive, that. Yes. That does well, it really was a well. Family one, but then my sister sort of has taken ownership. Oh, okay, it's hers, is it? So I'd have to try and get off it. Nah, that's cool. But um, yeah, no, that. How much? How much are you looking to get rid of that if if it was um, one lump sum? Should have a price on it. I don't know. I mean, is a hundred too much with all the games and that? Yeah, it's not bad. Because and then the the way I've got um. So it's got that, but it's then I've got the, you got the, motion. the extra things. Yeah. The ones in the bag, um, it leaked a bit of battery. So okay. I mean, they'd need to be cleaned. Okay. But I think they still work. There's two of them. Yeah. Um, but the other ones are all in here and there's a little, little nunchucks in that. Yeah. Yeah, the way the console, um, to yeah, be honest. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I look at true value for myself into these games. Yep. And then I look at this as just a little bit on, on a extra. A bit of extra. Yeah. Yep. I'd probably. I'd probably offer 80, 80 on the lot. Yep, that's fine. If you're cool with that. Yep. We'll lock that down. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you got this big, what was this? Um, so it's a, it's a what's the thing? What's DVD, that? recorder. Uh, it's a Blu-ray and uh, digital video recorder. Nice. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Blu-ray disc recorder. The code's in the middle. Just in here. Oh, there it is. How's it compact? Is it good? Okay. Looking for wanting like two hundred, so. But not sold. Ah, uh, yeah, they were sold. Oh, they were sold. Let me see. Does this one work? Do you know? Ah, uh, the last time I plugged it in, yes, but I can't find the remote. I don't think we have the remote. Remote. That's fine. I actually still. I mean, remote there were would. Millions selling, like million remotes selling. Yeah, and that's the thing. People can pick them up, um, pretty cheap, and they do sell without the remote pretty easily. So, if it's definitely working, would you go fifty? That's what I was thinking anyway, so, yep. Done. All right, we'll add that in as well. Geez, the boys at the flea markets love these sorts of things. E-Trex. Yeah, so this was before you had thingy on your phone. Yeah, yeah no stress. It definitely works. I just tried it the other day. Got its case and manual as well. Yeah, so we used to use it for geocaching. Oh, before interesting. Before we had phones that did Interesting. All that. What do you want to sell it for? Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe just like 10 bucks. All right, let's do that. It looks uh, to be in pretty good condition, you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> Good Nick. Um, we reckon the lens might be worth a little bit more. The Nick, oh, what is a Nikkor 700, 300? Jeez, my knowledge on cameras is so bad. The D5000 body. It's a serious lens on it. Decent camera. I reckon what you're saying is true around this being the high like the yeah this is this is what where the value lies yeah yeah and then and then the bag. bag the bag comes up at about 80 like between 50 and 80 yep um there's the other one it's got its manuals too which is good yeah i've got everything manuals are clean yeah so it's clean mm. honestly i'm like pedantic <laughs> yeah and that's awesome that just needs a, there's just dust yeah but that's yeah. that's good um that's the bag for the big one Okay. So it's got everything. What do you reckon? How about 150? 180. Okay. All right. So a huge thank you to Leanne. That was a really, really good purchase opportunity. Um, a lot of stuff that I like to try and sell on eBay. And um, having a look at everything now laid out here on the table, I'm pretty happy with today's purchase. So let's go through some of these items that we bought today. And I'm going to let you know how much I think I can sell it for on eBay. All right, first things first, we've got this Nintendo Wii console. Now, personally, I don't love selling the Nintendo Wii. For some reason, I just the other consoles just seem to sell better. Um, but look, we bought all of this for $80 in the end, and I like the fact that it was in pretty good condition. We've got two nunchucks here, 
Uh, we've got two Wii remotes, but we've also got these as well, which are the Wii Motion Plus adapters. Um, the RVL026, when you put that code into eBay, um, these two items here alone uh, can sell for $30. Uh, so that was a really exciting thing to see in the bundle. Um, I've split the games already into valuable and non-valuable. Leanne knew the price points herself. She, she mentioned it in the video. Um, she knew what was going on. So these are definitely the best games here. Um, these five games average out to be worth about $35 a piece. So it's actually $175 in value there. Um, these games, not so much. So I think we could sell this as a console bundle for about 150 and then these games here, we could sell for 175. So you're looking at about two to 300, maybe 250 to $300 as a lot. Um, and we bought it for $80. So that was a really awesome deal to get. Uh, it's just whether or not this console will take a little bit to sell. These games should do pretty well individually, uh, but the console may take a little bit. Um, the next one here we've got is a Panasonic DMR BW780. So this is the Blu-ray disc recorder. Um, really good item here. I'm actually trying to source these hard goods a whole lot more. They do really well. And the comps on eBay were ranging between $150 to $200. So this one here in te uh, tested and working order um, should be able to go on to sell for about $180. And we paid $50. So $50 into $180. I'm buying a lot of these hard goods. As you can see up here, we've got four there that I'm trying to sell. And they do turn over pretty quickly. So sell through rate, very, very important. Awesome to find that one. I'm um, going to move over to this one right here as well. This was the Garmin, to be honest, I actually didn't even know what it was. It was the Garmin Personal Navigator. There it is there. This is the Etrex H. So I did some comps on eBay with, Le uh, with Leanne. And even though it's got this little bag there as well, which is good, this device can sell for upwards of $60. Uh, so to pay just the 10 bucks for it, I thought, why not? Let's just go ahead with it. Garmin's a really good brand. If you see anything Garmin, Jamie always buys it when he's out in the flea. Um, definitely uh, pick up those items. And then we've got some awesome comics from 1994, 1995, and then there are a couple of 1996 comic books uh, in here as well. We've got the standard Simpsons comics collection right here. Uh, we've got some Radioactive Man, we've got some Bart Man, and then we've got a bunch of different X-Files uh, books as well. Uh, this one here is definitely the standout as I touched on. Uh, we've got the Treehouse of Horror collection, a 1995 first edition as well. There's the first issue there, number one. Uh, so I'm going to list this one up for about $50. It is in really, really good condition. But all of these here, I'm going to do as a lot. It'll be a Simpsons lot and it will be an X-Files lot. It's just the way that I like to do it because the item is valued individually at eh, 15 to 20 odd dollars. So therefore, because of the price point at an individual rate, I like to go ahead and do them as a full allotment. Um, so I think going for about $150 on The Simpsons and maybe $50 or $60 on The X-Files uh, could be a good turnaround. I did pay $100 though uh, for all of those comic books. But that wasn't everything. We also bought the Nikon camera. And I want to take you through that now. Got the body there. We've also got this uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens uh, right there. And then we've also got this big guy as well. Um, this is the Nikon. It's the... AFS Nikkor 700 to 300 millimeter. Now, look, guys, I really don't do cameras very often. If you watch this channel, you'll understand that this isn't my forte. Um, didn't know 100% what I was looking at, but what I did love was the fact that it is in just such good condition. She looked after her gear so, so well. And, and look, I understand that this was a bit of a personal item um, for Leanne. She had this as a pride and joy. She used to use it. She no longer uses it. She wanted to get rid of it. Um, and look, knowing that cameras do really well on eBay, knowing that Nikon's a good brand, Canon being a good brand, um, I really wanted to strike up a deal here. Look, I, I, I said 100, and, 100 initially, and then I said 150, and we settled on 180. Um, I could have probably paid a, a, a touch more for this, to be fair with you. Um, this here, this body, um, is worth about $120. Uh, this lens right here is worth about $100. Um, but this lens right here is actually on, on inspection and looking into the details, worth about $400. Um, so you've got $500, $600-odd in value there, maybe $650 worth of total value. I'm not sure how exactly I'll go ahead and sell this. It might be an individual body only and then two individual lenses. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments how you think I should best sell this. Um, but this collection right here worth about $650 obviously made the deal an incredibly good one. 
um, paid 180 to turn it into 650. Remember guys, this is just revenue. I do need to take out fees, postage, cost of good. Uh, I also need to pay GST and then obviously my taxes before I make any money on the deal. Um, so while it sounds great at 650, when you whittle it all down, it doesn't mean you're making $650. But look, this should be an item given it's in such good condition that goes on to sell in a really quick space of time. Cameras are something I wanna to start to get into more. I'd love to know when I do a private pick exactly what I'm looking at from a value perspective and what to look out for. Um, but it looks like Leanne's looked after me with a pretty fair and generous price on this one, and I'm very happy to have it.